Hello and welcome back to Cookie and the Haydens and I'm Carboot Chris and this is Hi, back again Bargain Bell Hope you didn't miss me too much last week She's feeling a lot better um, She's had shingles for the last Yay. 10 days, 2 weeks which has not been nice so she's feeling a lot better today um, I had a few technical issues just as I was about to go live so hopefully I wasn't too late let me just make sure have we uh, are we on have we got anyone I have you got the chat on press live it. chat there yeah, yeah. so yeah bargain bell is going to be in charge of the chat uh, we have deal city in hi deal city hello uh we have adrian wilding Oh yeah, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're doing oh, well. Monumental. Hi, Monumental. Watched um, your stream earlier, Andrew. Although I was listening, so I didn't do much chatting. I was listing stuff. But uh, some good finds on the PlayStation front. I know. I was amazed at that. Very, yeah, very, pretty, pretty good, good. Pretty good. Mm. Makes me want to um, start looking at games again, but. Uh, I'm too far out of the out of the game for now. <laughs> I, I feel like I've been left behind a bit. Yeah, Deal City. I'm really sorry. We'll try harder next time. You said we're one minute late. It's, it's unacceptable. I know. I had technical problems. I was having a meltdown because I couldn't find the link to Google Hangouts. It seemed to have vanished. So um, yeah, it it was seriously annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly walked out basically. It's all right. They'd have just had me. I think they prefer me to you anyway now. You reckon? Is that right? Probably not. Probably actually. Yeah, <laughs> let's be fair. What are you writing? What are you messing with? I'm just trying to change the view on that. Right. Okay. So. Um, are we are we slow? Yeah. Just ignore that. Mm. So we did two car boots. In fact, I'll take that off because that is seriously annoying. We did two car boots today. Uh, we went to Bowlers in Manchester, which is a standard, really, in it. And we did Oldham Rugby Club straight afterwards. So we were down there for about nine o'clock. Wasn't too bad. Well, not bad at all, really. I must admit, if anyone's been to Bowlers, um, the decorations that they had up today, because they had the Madchester Festival on yesterday which is all like tribute bands to to like famous bands but it was all decorated up like um alice in wonderland so all the ceiling was covered in like leaves and there was big giant fl inflatable flowers it was really good really good and there was no drunk either like rolling out like sometimes after the um yeah the raves that they have stop licking me dog so what have we got in here Nice to see Cookie. Um, I saw uh, you had a dog in there, um, Andrew, <laughs> for what of a better phrase. Um, he had a dog? Yeah, he had a dog on his... Um... Oh! oh, was that another stream? It wasn't a dog today, was it? We, after your stream, Andrew, uh, another one of your videos came on, so I watched that and you had a dog on it. Um, was that is that your dog? Yeah, unfortunately... When I'm home quite a lot, if I'm ill or on or, or on holiday, Cookie gets very, very needy, very needy. And this is literally how I've spent the last week of being ill. Like I'm like a glorified dog bed. Aren't I, babe? Eh? A glorified Glory what? Dog bed. Oh, right. The monumental puppy. Um, Adrian says he's too old to learn about gaming. I said before that it's passed me by now gaming. I'd have to catch up too much. 
I think know. it changes quite quick, doesn't it? And then you've got to keep on top of what the latest stuff is. And I know the car boot Bible boys are well into it, aren't they? And I, I like gaming and I like a lot of retro stuff, but I don't know if I'm good enough to to go and buy. I really kind of avoid the games. Mm. But seeing um, his pickups today it makes me want to yeah. go back on it. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I will say, when Chris has previously spoken about um, being spotted at the car boots, for obviously being car boot Chris and people have recognised him, and I've never believed it because I've never been there, we actually got stopped twice today in bowlers, and it wasn't only Chris, it was me as well, so I'm quite impressed with that. Yeah, but you see, without <laughs> car boot Chris, you bargain about them. No, they definitely looked more pleased to see me. Yeah, we did but hi to the two people we saw today if you're watching it was very nice speaking to you um and i hope you did well if you one was picking one was selling yeah so, i hope you did well yeah, yeah it was nice chatting um let's just have before we do today's pickups um mark twig twigo is that your name twigo twigo um i was chatting on instagram with him before um because he got a massive Hall of games as well. Um, so well done on those. Uh, there's a cracking lot there. Not that I know anything about it, but there was a bloody lot of games, put it that way. Um, Monumental says, Have you recovered? Um, I'm not contagious anymore, which is a plus. So it means I can leave the house and they don't need the big red sign on the door. Um, but I don't know if anyone's ever had shingles before. It's extremely painful, and I had it around my hair and around my ear and the back of my head. So um, it's still really, really painful. But I believe the pain can last for quite a while with it being like all your nerves inflamed and stuff. So I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So um, Money Mental also said his dog's called Barty. Barty. Hi, Barty. I prefer dogs to people. So hi. Pat and you. I'll tolerate you. <laughs> I'll ignore that. I'm just catching up on chat. It's more interesting than your ramblings. Well, I will start off with where our question. To, so, cook it. Stop it. Our question for today. Uh, and don't answer yet, because obviously when Chris is doing his haul, we'll lose the chat. But when we were speaking to one of the guys today that we bumped into, we ended up talking about how we started getting into buying and selling um and you know what what prompted us in the first place so for us it was you were dabbling a little bit weren't you in like were you dabbling yeah i was buying the other thing and selling it and yeah little little tiny bits weren't you but one of the things that i found that because chris is a big film buff and obviously he had this nice little collection of dvds he's really hard to buy gifts for so i started looking for collectible items to buy for him related to movies and i found that everything was really 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 expensive um especially if you wanted like original stuff so that's when we came up with our first invention hmm. which was movie fusion um and movie fusion was basically uh we we were sourcing new and second hand cheap movie items work we? and we were bundling them together with the movie that they were related to and we used to wrap them up in starry cellophane and make our own bows out of original movie reel which which was really really fiddly um and then obviously we sold them, but we did it through a Facebook page on mm. Facebook Market, didn't we? And the first year we did that over Christmas, it was hammered. We were run ragged trying to do these orders. And right up until Christmas Eve, weren't we? We were literally like delivering them um, to people. And it was really, really good. But we found it was quite time consuming. Yeah, it was very time consuming. And the same old up. thing that you get with Facebook people not turning up, um, not answering your messages um saying they want an order and then cancelling last minute when you've made it up mm, and it was a lot of driving around when so there was a lot of we, we were having to charge like mileage work we? yeah we were charging we were, mileage as well but it, we didn't have a perimeter to begin with we were just literally delivering anywhere um and gradually we started to progress that into could we post it 
but then obviously some of our packs were quite big um so we found that obviously trying to put them in big boxes and put them in the post and stuff like that was working too expensive so that then just fell into the fact that chris realized if we sold the items individually it worked out cheaper so hence hence our ebay was born our ebay was born so that's how our reselling journey started and one of the first things you forgot did you mention about um cash generating oh no our first, one, of, yeah. one of the first things i bought as part of that to resell was a job lot of stuff from cash generator and they did yeah, me a deal about 100 quid it? on a load of figures uh, movie figures and i spent about 100 quid and that is where the journey started on ebay one black bag full of figures yeah and now my house is that black bag yeah everywhere it's full. <laughs> <laughs> so keep your um stories just catch up on the chat bit keep your stories um to yourself for now and tell us about it after we've done today's pickups um and it'll be interesting to hear what everyone's got to say uh, and how you got into reselling so um just before i start on today's have we got any more comments to catch up on this is the clothes and you know that I need to have Batman and Superman figures to keep from car boot sales always unless yeah trying to find decent figures at car boot sales and stuff like that they're normally the cheap figures aren't they actually getting decent ones is quite difficult yeah you don't see that many to be fair um sometimes I look for job lots on eBay you know when people are selling a bulk load of like necker figures and I stuff was gonna like say, that you need to look for the necker and stuff like that but unfortunately if you get the ones like the the full toy uh, selling stalls they tend to know the value that's in them so yeah. they will end up charging you a lot you need you need the mums the mums and the parents that have bought these for kids and have no idea that the reselling value is brilliant and they're going to sell it you for 50p that's what we tend to look for in so yeah sometimes you get the odd bargain at boot sales anything else uh I may just take a punt get on gaming stuff one day just like i have with the women's clothing it's always yeah. worth a try isn't it i mean we were talking about jason t's cds weren't we because mm. his his like big seller is cds but you said it's quite time consuming isn't it it's time consuming because if you're going to do well on cds from what i understand um you've got to be prepared to sort of go into a charity shop or car boot sale and scan them all and then come away with you know 10 or 15 out of several hundred um that are worth anything so at the moment i'm not i'm not into it but i might do in the future um what's the know. thing that jason t does that you can do where he teaches you all about it yeah there's a webinar um a webinar is how you say it um that jason t does on the thrifting board channel um that teaches you all about buying and selling cds which was really really interesting and um if i if i was full time doing this I'd, I'd probably go into it and do it properly he does make some good money he makes it, a lot of money yeah. uh rob walker's come to join us so hi to rob hello yeah thanks for coming along i like money mental money i'm going to be youtube famous i will one day didn't you say you you need your own channel or yeah. something yeah yes yeah, he's already you want to sign me up listen she's not going to get 2300 subscribers like <laughs> i've got <laughs> but if i'm really honest about it right most of those subscribers have come to watch cookies videos and not car boot chris yeah, so yeah. it's a He's bit of a, a bit of a con car but. boot chris is famous off the back of the dog yeah i've used the dog to get to get where i am now uh what's worse living with chris or having shingles <laughs> well i better know who said that yeah now you ask no he's he's not that bad are you baby what's next <laughs> uh the tap doctors come to see us again hello cool. from the yorkshire my favorite manx are oh, the, the yorkshire from the yorkshire where's that from yorkshire you said I? from the yorkshire oh shush uh got a couple of sales from sending offers got a couple of cells from sending offers great way of getting a little extra yeah you can send offers on ebay now to watches so if you've got like five watches you can send them all an offer hi kieran yes kieran is my darling eldest son 
Um, I was going to give you a shout out today anyway when we get to the hall, so just bear with me. If you're watching now, will you do us all a favour and will you click like the thumbs up on the video because it helps it get a bit more traction. Mm. So that would be useful if, if you give us a thumbs up. Um, <laughs> yeah. Money Mental said Cookie must be the only dog that pays for a run food. <laughs> And the rest, toys, the lot. She actually pays rent, I think, to live in the house. How much do you think I make off that? <laughs> you don't make a lot off YouTube. You, you need millions. Oh, Rob Walker missed us. He got there at 7.30. He was looking for you. I'm sure I'll see you one day. We was there till about 9 o'clock, weren't we? Yeah, we probably just missed each other just yeah. walking around or whatever if you want to look for me just look for the one confused person stood in the middle of the room because that's what i'd spend most of my time doing because i literally look down at a stall look up and chris has gone and that's it i stand there for 10 minutes searching the horizon till i see him so I'll just look for me you'll not find her anyway because she's she's about <laughs> four foot tall <laughs> so when you've got crowds of people like this high and then she's down here you got no chance. You've got more chance of bumping into me than you have of uh, seeing me. Right. I think we're fairly well caught up. All of <clears throat> Hi, Patrick. Sorry, we've hello. got a new one. Okay, hello. Um, click like on the video. It helps us a lot. Thank you. Um, eBay, for me, has been absolutely shocking for the last seven days. It, I, think, I think I've done um, about five sales this week, maybe a six or seven. I don't know. But it's been really bad so i hope you're having a bit more luck than what we are having at the moment it seems to be a real lull so today i just put on a 15 percent sale on everything that qualified so i think that's about 620 listings i've put 15 percent off on just to see if we can get some movement going because once you get a few get a few sales a few offers start showing a bit more activity on your account um it does seem to make a difference so we're not doing great at the moment this last week has not been good at all so i hope yours is better than ours um i think mr diggs is having a bit of trouble as well so um hopefully yours will pick up too well mr diggs has just said he's he's got a bearded dragon so he's thinking of renaming the channel the bearded, bearded dragon buyer and having his bit dragon in it tell you some animals sell people there's crazy crazy animal people out there that will follow anything Seriously, the amount of people that comment on Cookie's videos is bizarre. And the amount of people that try to get in touch with me and add me just because of Cookie is weird as well. Cookie's best video actually has got 130,000 views. And um, there's some of the other ones that are in well into the thousands, like 20, 30,000. So um, she does pretty well for our channel. So mm. Rob said it was quite empty in the stalls today. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, yeah, there wasn't a massive amount, was there? You see, the thing with bowlers, because it's an indoor car boot, when it's a nice day, and mm -hmm. it, it was cold today, but it was a nice day. Sorry. When it's a nice day, people tend to go to the other car boots, like the outdoor ones and stuff, because they're a bit cheaper. Bowlers is like 18 quid a stall, and that's quite a lot, really. So I think w when when it gets right into summer and it's a real nice day, bowlers will be half empty but the rugby club had a few more on it yeah they'd actually had to have like one row didn't they on the on the field yeah. which they haven't had all winter so come on let's crack on because okay. we're gonna be we've done like 20 minutes or something and we haven't done shown anything we are called yet. rambling resellers or resellers well, that is true, or whatever yeah. so i got not only one but okay. two of these it's from inside out mm. i wouldn't normally pick these up because these are the kind of things that you spot in b m and home bargains but these ones are a bit different because they are the disney store ones so you can see the stamps on the bottom um what's the character called no idea um so i got these and these are a pound each um they're going to be worth a reasonable amount. I've not actually ever picked up one of these Disney store stamps of these elephants from inside out. Um, so uh, if I had to guess now, I'd say they're going to be between 10 and 15 pound each, mainly because of the size. They are quite big, but it could be a bit more. 
Um, I'll just say hello to a couple of people. We've got P. Thomas. Hi, nice to see you back. She's doing well. She's had nine sales. So she's like, it's always good on payday week. Oh, is it payday um, week? That's even worse for us, then, isn't it? Payday week. Uh, retro research. But well done on. Who's joined us. So hi, nice to see you back with us. Yeah. Um, is Burnish Rugby Club? No, Burnish Rugby Club starts in April. I think it's end of April maybe early may ish yeah keep you around the website that is amazing during the summer months that is massive you need that, to do that one Burnley's rugby club will be the one that you will most likely see us at when it's a good day um sometimes we also go to chelford car boot which is on a massive field um but unfortunately with that one you have to negotiate the crazy farmer that runs it <laughs> i was gonna say the angry farmer yeah he's absolutely mental we've, um, seen, we've seen him fight haven't we Before oh there's now. been fights and all sorts but <laughs> um what else do we go to uh, uh bowley in middleton sometimes east lanks so we're, we're all around there but Burnley's rugby club is quite close to us um and it's a really really big car boot on a nice sunny day but if you do go beware where you park it's on an industrial estate and they are a nightmare for ticketing around there so just be very careful don't block any sort yeah. of units or anything like that i got a ticket i got a ticket which i was really pissed about um okay so this is from the good dinosaur is it good dinosaur yeah yeah it's a good dinosaur it's quite a, a big one um it's disney store stamped again which is the only real reason why i bought it because there's loads of good dinosaur plushies out there and i wouldn't buy the normal ones just get the disney store ones don't know the price of it but again, it's going to be in the realm of £15-ish, give or take. And that was £1.50. Um, I picked up this um, Planet Hollywood Orlando um, pint glass. Um, I do pick these up normally when I see them. Uh, it was 50p, so it's a no-brainer. That will go for £10 all day long. Bit of an unusual one and as you know i always say i like to pick up something a bit odd a bit of an oddity um each time and this is this weird looking mug um it's just marked england and a h on the bottom you see that um i don't even is it a viking it looks like a viking it's like a Viking or something on the front, and it's it's only got a small opening at the top for a mug. Um, yeah, it was two pound, uh, but I don't know really what it's worth or anything at the moment. Well, you got it in a kind of bundle. Yeah, I bought two mugs, bubbles. but it worked out at two pound. So I thought I'd try it. I like the look of it. This one won't be to everyone's taste for obvious reasons. It's uh, Manchester City. Champions. Yeah, don't put them all. <laughs> um, it's a uh, Halloween gnome. Um, I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to keep it. It's going to go in the garden because I've got zombie gnomes and all sorts in there. Walking dead gnomes and stuff. So... Uh, it was two pound it's boxed and never been opened by the look of it so happy with that did you tell everyone about your jacket no not yet okay. do i do it now i didn't know if that was like my cue miss my cue <laughs> it's an in joke don't worry about uh, it yeah well it's not yeah. is it if you've ever watched the horrendous a uh, YouTube video that he did of me where he made me sing the 12 the 12 days of Christmas for a gift each day you'll know what Look he's it all up. about it's a, it's a good laugh yeah it is it's hilarious Annabelle singing <laughs> and I cannot sing for toffee but yeah while we're on the subject this was my bargain of the day as being my, my you know bargain bell living up to the name uh, while Chris is wandering around buying stuff for the business I tend to end up wandering around buying stuff for myself so this lovely denim jacket with nice like it's not leather is it what is it it's like a dark denim yeah i don't know it's like a funny denim sleeves very nice next two pound 
Two quid. Two quid. Not bad, that, is it? How good was that? I should have offered to buy it for Christmas. Put Should've it said. away. Could have put it away for for Christmas. So, yeah. So, I thought, with everybody saying Chris should start modelling stuff, I would model my lovely bargain of the day. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Any any chit-chat before I go out and go for the next one? Uh, kind of talking... We're having a nice chat, chat between yourselves, aren't you? I love it when you do this because it, it's you know I like the fact that everybody mingles. Um, because it looks like Money Mental is going to be taking his games to CEX. Ooh. because he said it's um pretty much the same with fees and stuff, but it's less chance of stuff going missing in the post. So. Yeah, a quick sale. We all want that. So nice yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, sell it or trade it. Trade it, you've got to back, pick something else up instead. No, I think he's saying sell it, just mm -hmm. hand it in for the money. Um, Rob's saying he's aware of the parking and you just park and walk a bit. You know, Rob, instead of keep missing us, if you're definitely going to go to one of the car boots, you need to let us know and we'll meet up with you. We're quite happy to we'll have a brew and a chat. Yeah. Yeah, we've said that. Anyway, anyone that wants to go to Bowlers, if you just let us know you're going, we'll definitely make sure we're going because we're generally there at crack a dawn aren't we at seven o'clock yeah um, just give us a send us a message on instagram um and yeah if you want to um arrange a time or something and we can meet and say hello or get a brew or get a sandwich or something wander around so yeah definitely any more chat before i carry on uh up the villa i'm sure we've had up that the villa. i'm sure we've had that comment before who was it uh retro reseller oh yeah yeah magpies forever I thought retro good. reselling was Wolverhampton. You're not Wolverhampton Wanderers. Wanderers. The mighty imps are best. I've no idea what people are talking about. Ooh, nice jacket. I know. Good, isn't it? Uh, car boots, great for stuff to keep to picked up a sofa blanket for a few quid. So cosy. Do you know something, right? The amount of times people say to me, oh, they're loving lovely shoes. Or, oh, that's a lovely top. And I stand there constantly going, yeah, I got it from the charity shop. Yeah, I got it from the car boot. I don't think I've stopped in. I've, I've walked. I've stepped into a, a regular clothes shop for about six months. There's just no point. The stuff you can get now, you can get quality stuff. Yeah, great. Why not? Mm. It's it's saving the planet as well, isn't it? And this wasn't the only thing I spent about recycling or yeah, whatever. Yeah, spent you call about it. a tenner on different bits and bats. That Is that I it? Bought. Yeah. Right. Picked up these two. Now, I've not really bought Barbies and stuff before, um, but these are boxed. Um, I've never, <laughs> they've never been opened, and they're about 20 years old, so early, early noughties. Um, and it's Swan Lake, but they were £8 each. She wanted £10 each, but these, uh, we got them down to £8 each, so that's £16 for the two. I've, um, I had a look on eBay and the prices are all over the show. But what I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to put them together, sell them together, and they could be worth, I think I'm going to list them for maybe 60 to £70 pound for the pair. Now, that seems to be roughly middle of the road. Some are going higher, some are going lower. So that's what I'm thinking with those. Ooh, right. Mad Tatter's joined us. So evening, Hello. Mad Tatter. Money Mentalist Tata. said that's that, a good name. Uh, CBB. What's Car Boot, Car Boot Bible? Car Boot Bible and me are doing a trip to Manchester to see you guys soon. But got to wait for Hutch to finish work at working away. He's going to be in Cardiff for a couple. Oh, okay, cool. That'll be really good. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to meet up with with everybody. Nice to see people face to face instead of having to chat like this. Yeah. Um, Rob said that would be nice. I'll be there next week. I was only there for twenty minutes. No buying on today. <laughs> what uh, bowlers? Yeah. Is it a bowlers? There yeah. was a guy outside who had like twenty Elvis and twenty Elvis records. I don't know if you saw him. I didn't see any vinyl today. Yeah, so. there was a guy. The guy outside, and it was like an old box with, with just it was just all Elvis. Um. But yeah, if you're going to be there next week, 
Oh, we won't be there. No, sorry, we're at a wedding. Yeah, we're not there next week. Sorry. Yeah, we're at a wedding um, on Saturday night. So we'll maybe a week after. Over. But definitely, let us know the week after if you're going to be there. Um, I picked up this unusual um, panini, and that's not the sandwich. <laughs> it's a panini, you know, football stickers um, mug. Um, it's quite unusual. I had a look on eBay, and actually some of these have gone for like 15 20 pound um and that cost me 50p which i thought was pretty mugs, good mugs can be a really good um not when you've got as many as i have no but you, you tend to buy them quite cheaply but a lot yeah. of them do go for between like 10 and 15 quid don't mugs they? are good because people tend to let them go for next to nothing they just want rid of them you know like 50p a go retro reselling says he might be up for bowlers one day as well okay cool yeah, I can see this. We're going to take bowlers by storm. We really are. We'll we'll get there, right? We'll get there an hour earlier. Go round, get all the decent stuff, and then we'll meet you. <laughs> so yeah, we'll meet you there about eight o'clock, guys. All right, we'll meet you outside about eight o'clock. Um, this was quite a nice mug. It's a Marvel Thor, the Mighty Thor mug. Um, it's like a three D one. You know the style um and that was two pound in a box as well so it's probably worth about a tenner or maybe 12 pound if you're lucky uh deal mm -hmm. city said i don't know if it's just me but it seems that there's way more resellers in car boot sales these days compared to last year i just think it's because it's the winter months you only get the hardcore sort of people people that are there aren't they doing having that? to yeah. do it to earn some money yeah i think a lot of people in the summer in this in this like spring and summer start to clear out all the stuff because they want you know spring cleans and all that so i think that's when you'll find the your average joe coming out with all some you know with the good stuff when they cleared the kids rooms and their attics and things yeah um i picked up i always pick up jurassic world stuff and this was no exception it's a figure um but it's got the battle damage with the light and sound um i thought it might be worth a bit more because i sold one recently for real good money i sold one for not this kind but a small one like that with battle damage i sold for 45 quid um it was the indominus one uh but this one is probably going to be worth 15 to 20 it cost me three pound and it's got the that there that action. So I thought it might be worth a bit more, but I'm still happy with that. I also got this dinosaur, which is a, is it a Hasbro or something? No, it's Mattel. Um, and it's motion censored. The dog hates it. <laughs> Does it sound? Hello. Don't want to play now. Cookie managed to make it work. You just don't have the touch. So yeah, it's a pterodactyl, and um, it cost me one pound fifty. Uh, it's worth fifteen to twenty quid when I had a look on eBay. Anyone else? Gibbering uh, on. Some people say uh, Monumental saying he's going to stay away from breakables. He's fed up with them getting broken. It is annoying. Um, Very annoying. He's also sold the Thor mug for about a tenner. It took a while, but it did go in the end. Yeah, I think a tenner is where it's at. Mad Tatter said he went to a tabletop at Brookdale Club in Bramall. Oh. Now, you were born and bred in Bramall, weren't you? Yeah. So you should know where that is. He said that it wasn't a bad little sale if you haven't been before. Did they have it regularly then? Well, I don't know if it's regular. Um, or if you've got like a Facebook page or something, because that's always useful, and I'll I'll follow that one. I like finding new ones. Yeah, Monumental said he did he's do he did well with Jurassic World figures. He bought them in home bargains for one ninety nine and sold them for fifteen quid. That's good. Good going. Quick and easy sales, aren't they? Things like that. Dinosaurs seem to sell really well, regardless. So. Yeah, anything dinosaurish seems to do really well. I really like this mug. Uh, it's Hard Rock Cafe in Berlin. And it's got they obviously got the guitar handle, which I think is great. It's got uh, the hologram sticker. I love this mug. Love all, serve all. 
some kind of message there. Very nice. Uh, that's cracking. That I love that. And I, when I saw that, I made a beeline for it straight away. Uh, it cost me a pound. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be worth fifteen to twenty pound. That's what I'm thinking on this one. Oh, we're so going to this um, tabletop sale. It starts at quarter past nine. That's good. Uh, Finally, so a tabletop. Should be on weekly now. Weekly. Mm. Oh, I went to Barnsley Car Boot. That's that's we figured out today. Barn oh no, Barnsley. Is that what we were talking about? Is that the uh, yeah Barnsley Brew? That's the rugby club where we went to. It's um, Oldham Rugby Club. That's not Barnsley. Bardsley. Oh, Bardsley. <laughs> <laughs> now, you asked if I could live with Chris. What you should be asking is how does Chris live with me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Barnsley and Bardsley. Well, Barnsley Brew, Bardsley Brew. Right. Time to move on. Um, <laughs> I've got these two uh, money boxes. What's that from? It's Esmeralda. Oh, I think, yeah. Is it Esmeralda? I think it's from Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, they were really, really dirty and dusty, so I cleaned them up this morning when I got back. Uh, these were two for five pounds, two pound fifty each. Um, I've not looked up the prices on these yet, but I, I don't think I'm going to lose out on that. They're quite nice. They're in good condition. I was right. You spelled it wrong. Oh, you put right. Bardsley instead of Bardsley. <laughs> Thanks for that confirmation. Yeah, we went there after bowls about nine o'clock. We we went over because uh, do you do Oldham Rugby Club regularly? Because in the summer months it's huge. Well, it's quite big. I won't, I won't say it was huge. Well, it covers a pitch, doesn't yeah. it? Normally. Right now, bargain bell's got a lot to answer for with these because these <laughs> are our fail of the week. Why? They're fail. A fail. They're yeah. a fail. They're a fail. Um, luckily, we're we are fans of Breaking Bad, so these might have to stay here in the movie room. But they're these are lamps, and um, they cost five pound each. I bought two. I bought two. Not that I need to show you both, but they're there. Um, so I spent a fiver, thinking that it's got to be worth maybe fifteen quid or something. But actually, they're going for like five to ten pound each. So, a bit of a bit of a fail there. Never mind. I will. I may well keep one of them because it's quite cool. It's quite cool, but they're just quite common as well. Uh, a bit like bargain bell. Ooh. Well, the guy we bumped into, who had his lovely lovely daughter with him, that was helping out um, on a stall. He was. Uh, he said that he'd thought he'd missed out because he saw them in our bag. Well, now you know you haven't. You didn't miss out. Because they're not worth much. No, they're not worth <laughs> anything really. Um, if uh, if you're in, if you're watching, by the way, or um, fellow behind the stall who I've seen twice now. Um, sorry, I didn't catch your name. Um, drop us a comment and say hello, um, and we'll give you a shout out. Um. Teal City said he saw them in a charity shop and thank God he scammed them. Yeah, we should have done the same. Yeah. Uh, Rob says he thinks a girl mug might be from Hercules. Could be. Could be Hercules. That one. It'd be better if it's from Hercules because it's older than um, Hunchbank, is it? Hunchbank. Hunch, Hunchbank. I can't God, you today. put your teeth in. Put your teeth in, woman. Jesus. You're live. Come on. Right, could be, could be. I should look it up. Uh, right, a bit of clothing to go through. Um, first one is this. Ooh, this is where I need this to This could give be a good one. I need to give, well, from, from fail to success, that's all I can say with this one. But I have to give a shout out to my lad, Kieran, because he is um, huge on his big brand weird named clothing isn't he like he likes expensive stuff so he's done quite a lot of research on this for us today and um actually found a site with it on so it's the brand is a bathing ape i.e bape i believe b-a-p-e mm. um and it's a long sleeve shark shoulder shoulder shark 
shoulder shark shark shoulder <laughs> um t-shirt and it cost eight pound but these brands these are the new wave of um designer labels that um all the youngsters um of t today are spending all their hard-earned cash on um so this costs eight pound but it could be worth anything up to what 80 90 quid yeah they're going for over a hundred pound new probably around about 130 pound new um but so, this particular one as, very my, as my son found in black was really hard to find and he only found it on one website and it was discontinued it was no longer being sold so hopefully it's got all the right labels yeah. so you need to be looking out um for these um new wave of designer labels and can i just say you wasn't gonna buy it no i weren't to be honest for eight quid not paying eight quid for that <laughs> <laughs> um i thought you know what i thought it was when you had it i thought it was baby shark <laughs> i thought it was a baby shark t-shirt that's how thick i am how old i am um so look out for these brands these new wave of designer brands you know it's not diesel and it's not what else give me some names diesel and Heavily. gucci and heavily <laughs> It's not it's not that anymore for the youngsters. It's these that you get in Selfridges off and off white. Off white is that one? Yeah, off white's a big one. Off what does Cameron buy? Oh he God. spent like two hundred uh, two hundred quid on a t shirt. And it, it had what was that one? I don't know. But these are the new brands that you need to look for. Go in Selfridges, have a look at what the kids are buying. Don't stand there watching the kids because you'll get locked up. But... <laughs> <laughs> this is what you need to look at anyone else got any suggestions for these brands um what we should be looking out for because i'm only just dabbling in clothing but it'll be nice to get a good pick up like that uh, monumentals was out and come back and he said what brand was it um a bathing ape vape, vape. Oh, b-a-p-e kieran said that um 200 pound t-shirt was a montclair a Montclair, that's another one to look out for. Key, what's, Never the, what's the brand called with the little tiny heart on that costs a fortune? The French one. That's another popular one, isn't it? Looks like nothing. Yeah. Some of these brands now that are going for a lot of money, there's just like nothing to it. It's got like a little icon here or something. <laughs> when he meant us put 200, he wants to get down the car boot. <laughs> They're too good for car boots, my two, unfortunately. So I picked up from the same stall another designer. Now this is more my designer, right? This is more, but well, I won't wear this because it's a bit gaudy. It's diesel. Um, it's a diesel sweater. It's a medium. Um, it looks in perfect condition, barely used. Um, and that was eight pound as well as part of the deal. I've got mm. both for eight pound. So I'm pretty confident they're both Supreme. genuine oh supreme as yeah, well yeah he even said that that little brand that comdigar com comdigar cons or something it's the one with a little love hat on but yeah kieran's a big supreme fan um he's looking at eventually building up into doing some buying and selling but high-end clothing mm. so i don't understand that sort of stuff it's way out of our sort of realm isn't it so there's some designer um designers to look out for supreme Bathing ape, i.e. vape, off white. North face, Montclair. North face. That's well North Face is a bit more common, isn't it? That's what my tempers are. Montclair. Yeezys for your shoes. They're ugly as hell, but they cost a fortune. Right. I got three of these jackets, all the same but three different sizes. They were the, they were the last three that she had on the store. Um it's Tokyo Laundry, which fairly common name still tagged ladies jackets quite nice actually and you tried them on you'd have if, if they fit you then you'd have had one wouldn't yeah you? one was too small one was too big i need in between but they cost four pound each um i got them on a deal because i bought all the last three she wanted a five each so i paid four pound each um i've not looked at the prices but i, I messed I did. oh you have haven't you i looked at the prices and there wasn't this design but the same code that's 20 quid um was 20 to 30 quid so if I can get 20 to 30 pound on each of these, that'd be a good return from four pound each. We said maybe 25 up and then accept 20, didn't we? Yeah. Um, 
Any more chat? Just a few more names. Pierre Balmain is another one with obscenely expensive T-shirts. I can't even pronounce half of these. Not without your teeth in, anyway. Shut up. Even Ralph... Polo Ralph Lauren is expensive over here. I've got a few Ralph Lauren stuff. Commoners muck in the States, which is why I get all mine over there. Yeah. Uh, some good suggestions there. I'll keep an eye out. Um, that was today's haul. Um, I spent £76 at the two car boots, which was not a bad day. Um, I need to clean a few bits up, and then we'll start on um, getting them listed uh, this week, hopefully. We can clear last week's backlog. This when he is... says we, this is my listings. No, not all of them. You get paid, don't you? Don't know, do I? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so, let's, with? let's go back to the original question then. So, you've heard how we started out, or I started out um, reselling. Um, our business evolved from gift. I don't know that one. Oh, bloody Alexa all the time. I swear to God she's watching us. You heard how we started out from making gift movie gift packs on Facebook to um, buying a job lot on at cash generators of figures and then... To being loved on YouTube. Going onto eBay. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you guys all start? What was the first thing that you bought and what was your inspiration for starting out? So Ready, steady, go. Go. Comment now. Because we're going to sit here and just be in silence. Yeah, so just sit, sit in my phone. <laughs> You're letting us down, guys. <laughs> uh, right. Thank you, Retro Reselling. You always need that one person to start to, to break the silence. So he started reselling from selling duplicates of my figures and games collections. Yeah. That's a handy way of doing it. Well, one of, one of the things I always say to to new resellers and i think this is everyone gives this advice to new people is start by selling your own stuff from your house and um, so that you can build up a bit of momentum get some feedback on your account um and uh, just see kind of what sells and what what you're um, making money on so start by selling stuff in your own house that's great yeah money mental said he watched a video that nick hills did about depression then started watching his other videos before you knew it, I had a house full of crap and an eBay business. Yeah, Nick Hills, Nick and Andrea, um, I they were the first resellers that I watched on YouTube as well. I think a lot of people um, will say the same thing because they were kind of the the kind of the first ones I I think of this generation of YouTubers that are around now. Um, they, they've done so many uh, great videos. I still watch them now. Um, so, yeah, I think a lot of people started there. Yeah. And the worrying thing is we could be somebody's Nick Hill. <laughs> really? <laughs> no one's going to copy us. Oh, that would be bad. That's no a bad start. Us. Bad start. Yeah. Go on, what else? Uh, P. Thomas, major declutterer here, not reselling as such, just two pack racks in a house, plus mother-in-law, brothers and parents contributions. It's a good way to so, start. Yeah. That's perfect, yeah. Yeah, if you're making money, you're making money. It doesn't matter how you're doing it, but it's all a learning process, isn't it? Yeah, and there's no risk in it, is there? You're not mm. having to spend your money out of your pocket um, and then worry about whether it's going to sell. You just you're yeah. just clearing out your own stuff so it's a win-win situation well you had the luxury didn't you when we first started that you had a bit of extra cash because you kind of made it a business from the beginning because you loaned movie fusion mm. was it a thousand pounds i'm not sure it was a thousand might have been you think you did i think you loaned movie fusion a thousand pounds and that's where you started from so that's how you knew yeah because your initial income was paying back the loan wasn't it and then working from there on inwards yeah yeah yeah, I kind of loaned my own business some money first and then paid that back and then, yeah. It was all your own profit from there, wasn't it? Yeah. Although I don't actually, I don't make a lot of profit. A lot of what I do, because I already have a full-time um, job, I don't really need the profit at the moment. So 
I my, I reinvest ev almost everything. I take a little bit of drawings. I think uh, you know I've had a few hundred quid this year paid for Barbados. Um, you got your Apple. Yeah, but that's a business. You still got um, an Apple Mac through a business. <laughs> yeah, I bought me Apple, but that's 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 a business asset, dear. That's it's a, a tie. That is a tie that you wanted. Yeah, but it belongs to the business. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've not really made a lot of money, but but what I do is I reinvest. I just keep buying and selling and then buying again. Retro Resale said he had a really good wheat reselling this week and then blew it on £170 on a figure today. 170 quid on a figure? Is that for yourself? What is it? Let us know what it is and if it's wow. for you or for reselling because that's got to be some figure. Funny Mental said he'd copy the movie room if he could. It is pretty awesome and I don't know if you've noticed behind from when he did his video, he's now actually got his two new glass cabinets. Two new glass cabinets, yes. Yeah. And um, the new addition to the room down there, which um, maybe maybe you saw from a previous, there, it's going to go there. Um, the surprise. It's hopefully going to arrive tomorrow or I've got to go and pick it up and I might do a little video about it just to show you what it is um, but it's going to be good trust me and if you like I oh know I won't say I won't say it's going to be a surprise I'm not going to go, move on yeah uh, Deal City said he saw an advert an advertisement pop up on YouTube to sell an eBay for cash random but that's what got me into reselling so we saw, saw an advert, advert to sell pop up yeah on YouTube to sell on eBay. Oh right, okay, I get you. So an eBay advert popped up. Mm. Mm. Cool. See, they work adverts. Yeah, you got suckered in by that advert big time, didn't you? <laughs> Mad You're on Tata. advertiser's dream. Yeah. Mad Tata started out in September after watching a few YouTube videos from various people. Just did it for a bit of a laugh to begin with, but circumstances changed. I mean that's the thing it's it's it started as just a bit of a hobby didn't it really mm. with us but then the more you kind of get into it and you realize you can make a bit of money yeah it does become a little bit addictive doesn't it's it? definitely addictive um and i've said this before and i think i'm not in the own i'm not the only one who says this but it's addictive going and sourcing and buying uh but i hate listing it's the worst thing ever um i really struggle to motivate myself listing wise but buying is addictive. See, that's interesting. Mad Tata said that the circumstances change. Oh, she, he, don't know what you are, the Mad Tata, um, and had to launch into doing it for my full-time job. Mm. And it sort of escalated from there. Mm. I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because obviously I don't know what your circumstances are now and whether the business you're running is financially supporting you well enough. But that's a conversation we were having not that long ago, wasn't it, mm. about... Um, it's that leap between keeping yourself financially secure but making enough money with the business so that you can move into yeah. it full time and it's it's quite a scary step so I don't know whether that's been a good thing for you whether you know the fact that you were forced to kind of do it sometimes that's that's a good thing isn't it yeah uh, you probably didn't think it at the time but um maybe you'd have never made that leap um if you hadn't been pushed into it but i really hope Good that luck. i really hope that it is working out for you and that you know it's paying off i really do um money mental i reinvest pretty much everything at the minute i think it's better to do do it that way rather than getting into debt yeah yeah once the business has reached a certain level you can then start withdrawing yeah well you say don't you you, you kind of get a thrill because it's not your own money that you're spending it's the yeah. business money whereas i go and it costs me a fortune it's good. It, it's your own money, really, but it's the business's money, so it's a bit different. Jar Jar still here, unfortunately. When I get something better, it'll be gone. Uh, oh, he, uh, Rich Royce, he said, got Masters of the Universe Scare Glow. Right. His own collection. Nice. Do you know what that is? No. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good. It's He-Man of some kind. Yeah. Rob Walker says, I don't resell. I just enjoy looking for records, but I enjoy watching resellers. I love you guys. And Sparrows End the most. Oh, yeah. Uh, I follow Sparrows End. Well, thank you. Thank uh, you very, very much. Very kind. Yeah. Does, Rob, does it, when you're watching these videos, uh, what we're finding and what we're picking up, does it not sort of 
when you're out looking for vinyl does it not make you want to look for other stuff as well because i think it would with me i'd be like hang on a minute i saw somebody bought one of them uh, you know i might pick that up is that not the case you've got to have a strong will not to not to be tempted into that and you've also got to get there before chris buys it or you're just never going to get anything anyway cool oh where were we up to uh definitely addictive and the more of a list the more of a sell that is true and not apart from this week apart from this week for us <laughs> we, we just we just about smashed a 700 listing mark this week We've, i've listed loads and i've sold absolutely bugger all i know uh, i always try to super list everything on the weekend so i can have the weekdays to focus on other bits who's that uh deal setter hmm. um yeah, uh, Mad Tata says, yeah, I'm making an income comparable to the living wage. My mum and my wife both fell ill and I couldn't work full time anymore. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you found a way around that because I'm sure that wasn't an easy time for you to have to go through because I can't imagine, you know, and your income and your money is, is your life. That's what we revolve around, don't we? Oh. we? We don't enjoy going to work, but we do it because we have to pay our way. So the fact that you've found that, you know your circumstances have changed and you can't work i'm glad that you've found a way of mm. getting around that and there's well there's a will there's a way yeah so well done high five to you um oh, they're all right now though good i didn't even ask that if they were okay now did i sorry and inconsiderate <laughs> You just don't care. <laughs> oh, who's a livery in 07? Are you new to us? We've got a new person. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the gang. Uh, have you had much success with offers to buyers? I've had some success. Um, the problem at the moment is that it's only available through, uh, I think it's only available through like a bit of a workaround. It's, it's not been widely rolled out yet by eBay. Um, so it's coming out in the next imminently in the next week or two um, where everyone's going to be able to do it so it, that might improve the success rate um, I have sent a few um, and had some accepted I've, and then yeah I, yeah it, limited success I think at the moment yeah Rob's basically just said that um, he's seen how what hard work reselling can be and it can be mm. it can be if you if you want to do well in it it's hard work uh, he said he's got a busy job and he will not have time plus he'd be your competition. Yeah. <laughs> we don't see anybody as competition. No. We're a big Unless happy... you come to bowlers. And We're then, a big then... happy family here. Yeah? Right. <laughs> you couldn't fight your way out of a paper bag. I'm a trained fighter. No, you're a trained ninja. That's what you normally tell me. Mm. That's what he threatens me with when, 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 when I do anything. He goes, remember, I'm a trained ninja. Go whatever uh olivia said not new but thanks anyways are you new to watching us though because i I'm yeah but no it should be not yeah but not everyone likes to comment which is absolutely ah. fine if you want to come in and just watch if you're a watcher that's okay <laughs> curtain twitcher <laughs> no that's absolutely fine <laughs> to be fair I don't comment a lot when I watch other people's because I can't do two things. I can't listen to what they're saying and comment. Is it a bit off-putting having to comment while you're watching? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Uh, so, yeah, I tend to just... It's up. fine. So, yeah, so if, I, if, if I'm ever... I'll say hi in your videos, but if I don't make comments, it's literally because it's not true when they say women can multitask. I can't do it. Um, Rob, where are we up to... Money mental whoop just got a sale. You got a sale while you were blooming talking before as yeah, well. Yeah, you're taking a mick now. Yeah. You you can leave the family. You're taking a mick. Let me just make sure I haven't had any sales. No. Deal City said best to send offers out now before people catch on to it and people get annoyed from constant offers. Yeah, but if I was watching something and you know thinking about buying it and then i got an offer from the person that was less than what they were listing it for i wouldn't mind i'd be like I'd, it would make me consider whether to buy it or not so i don't i don't know if it'll have a the only negative i can see from it is that 
buyers are going to start expecting not to have to pay the full price they're going to expect that the, the offers are going to come or people are going to accept offers more than what they do now um but just change your prices and up your prices by 10 percent before you send out an offer <laughs> Um, Rob Walker says I do buy Adidas stuff. Is that to resell? Uh, Adidas. Yeah. So yeah, some of the vintage Adidas is good, uh, isn't it? Money said Mental said Jet. My only two sales. That's two more sales than us. Yeah. The whole week. <laughs> no, two more sales Not today. Far, huh? I know. I had one sale overnight, and I haven't had any today. Uh, I'm 700 sorry. listings. I'm sorry, Olivia, we didn't mean to put you under any pressure. She says she misses the lives, but she's feeling the pressure now. But if you don't watch in future, what's more... um, what is it, Olivia? Is it Olivia or Oliver? Oliver, I oh, don't say Ol Olivia. Ol Bloody Oliver. hell! Oh, no, wait, it says Oliver. Olivia. Oliver Ian. 07. Oh, Oliver Ian 07. Sorry, Oliver. Sorry. sorry. I, you Olivia. I'm the person that asked Chris what was happening on the M15 when it was the MI5 on the, MI5. MI5 on the news, so don't worry about it. What's happening on the M15? <laughs> it's the MI5, you idiot. <laughs> Sorry, Oliver. Um, what's the script anyway? What um, are you buy it? Are you a seller? Are you a reseller? Um, eBay, whatever, or are you just uh, watching just to learn about about nothing really from us? Yeah, pretty ramblings. Much. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Rob Walker said for myself, but maybe to resell. Hmm. Yeah, but like like I said, most of my clothes now and shoes and everything I buy from car boots. It's just why pay full price? You don't have to. Uh, someone's coming to collect seventy pound sale tomorrow. What have you sold, Retro? Who's that? Retro, Retro nice. selling. Is that an eBay or a face? Is that a Facebook sale? Probably. You may, I hope they turn up if it is Facebook. A deal said it was a great idea doing a live stream. Some something else to watch that's reseller related. There yeah. are loads out there, but make sure you tune into ours um, <laughs> first. All the others are much more boring. Money mental. Sorry, money mental. Tune, tune into money mentals. <laughs> Car boot Bible are, are great. I love their videos. They're so professional in the way they are made. Um, Nick Hills is good. Of course, Jason it's where T. we've all started. Jason T. Smith. Um, He's a very professional as well. I yeah, think. well, he used to have his own TV show in America, so they're bound to be. Yeah. And um, who else have we got? Uh, retro reselling. Um, tune into loads. Just search them. Uh, just do um, eBay reseller on YouTube, and you'll find tons of people. I've, I've missed out loads there, and I'm sorry for everyone else. But the thing is, we've all got our own niches and we've all got our own ideas. This is why we pop in and out of each other's videos, because it's great to share the information. Because like you said, this isn't competition. We, you know, everybody wants to make a bit of money. Everybody wants to get good sales. So yeah. if we can learn from each other and pass that information along, why not? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I like, so I whenever I find a new reseller on YouTube, I always subscribe to them and check out their videos because... It's great to see new content and new ideas. Um, definitely not competition. Yeah. Rob's going. Thanks for watching, Rob. And don't forget, get in touch. See I'm watching me up soon. See you. Give us a shout. <laughs> Money Mental says, is there an M15? Probably not. Is there an M15? <laughs> Has he been Googling it? Don't, trust me. I make things up. I really do. Uh, three bashed up MOTU playset. Pay 25 for them. They've already paid me through PayPal. Cool. That's a bonus. Oh, I've got a sale off Facebook. I've got a sale off Facebook to package. It's already been paid and they're having it posted to them. They live down south somewhere. Some Disney prints, some Disney lithograph prints. Um, actually. <laughs> Money Mental said thanks for the shout out. No professionalism of mine, just chat and banter. That's why we get on so well. Um, I saw some of these on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so that is an extra sale this weekend, which is good. Yeah. Uh, Masters of the Universe, nice. I know it does sound good that yeah. sale has got. Right. Well, we have been rambling. How long? For an hour. Jesus. Well, to be fair, an hour and four minutes, seeing as we was a minute late. So, shall we call time on it? Yeah, I think we should because it's Sunday night. 
everybody must have much more better things you can be doing than listing. listening to us. Yeah, get listing so you can sell. And we're going to go and have some tea. I think it's chicken curry. In just the... before, yeah, we're having chicken curry. Uh, just before we go, right, listen to this, yeah. Search for Carboot Chris on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, and you're already with me on YouTube. So please subscribe and press the bell. Next time we go live, it will ping up on your phone that when we go live that we're there. So so Oliver, you can't miss it. Yes, Oliver. Um, and just before we go, the tat doctor said, did you see me promote your channel in Money Mentals chat earlier? Only, what was it the live one today? If so, what was happening was I was watching it on telly. I had um, Andrew on the big screen <laughs> whilst I was listing. So I didn't see a lot of the chat because obviously the chat don't come up on TV. I had it on the app. And it kept breaking up the thing because it kept going off. It was still on my iPad, but not on. Yeah, so I missed a lot of the chat. So I'm sorry about that. But if you did give us a shout out, thanks very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, and Mad Tata said, you're dead right, no competition. There isn't, this isn't about competition, or we won't be sat on air showing you what we've got and tell, giving you all this information, would we? Absolutely no competition at all. Just remember when we meet up, we'll meet you at half past eight, yeah? We'll get there at seven. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you at half past eight. So join me on Instagram. I've got nearly 5,000 people on Instagram, which is absolutely stupid, isn't it? That's ridiculous. Please yeah. join me on Instagram. I've got loads of stuff on there. So should we call time? Yeah. My mum's internet. Shocking, going to have to start doing them from my oh, house. Oh, what about your mum's trolley as well, Monumental? Is it, are you still using your, oh, is that your granny's trolley? I'm expecting to see that at Bowlers. Yeah, is that your granny's trolley? Anyway. Right, nice to see you all. All have a good evening and a good week. We'll see you soon. On the first one, you dance. He does me bigger than that. See you. Bye. Did not finish yet. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs>